Hi guys, Beatons here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I bring to you the Emerson Sisters Part 9. Yes, 9. So, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hello. How are you? If you're returning, you know that this episode is going to be a little jam-packed. So, in the last episode, Delilah ran to Miami to tell her how nervous she was about her sister, Harley. Harley? Where's Harley? Harley? Yeah. Um, Harley, who has decided to let the detective go. So this detective has been held captive because he knows precious information and if it is released both of the sisters could be facing time in prison. Um, Harley is Harley has decided to let Detective Greenwood go. He gave Delilah, well Harley gave Delilah um, a notice of Saturday uh, Sunday night. So he needs to be gone by Sunday night um, and it Whatever deals they're going to work out with him needs to be made by that time. But Harley has already made her deal with Detective Greenwood. I don't know if Delilah knows that, but Harley's already texted Detective. She's already talked to him. He said that he will leave her out of it. And, you know, hopefully Delilah goes and talks to him and tries to figure out something. But he has, she has signed an affidavit, Harley has, and she will know, Harley will not get any repercussions like nothing will go against her um she's doing she's getting like the good samaritan deal going on which i don't understand but you know harley pulled it off um so and pick i think pick had a little influence with that too because you know you don't want to mess with pick you just really don't and what is pick doing anyway um what is he doing oh he's talking to harley though these two are the absolute cutest but Harley is due pretty much any moment now, um, pretty darn soon, and these girls are here, they're about to start a gathering, but, um, where's Delilah, Delilah and Miami are talking, oh, I didn't know she can actually come in here, I could have sworn I locked my door, where is she going, Harley, you're mad at her, you are really mad at her, um, you don't want to do that. You really don't, sweetums. Okay, so we're just going to get her... I want to focus on their needs because lately I have not. And that's not like me. But um, we're going to serve some dinner. And they can't, I forgot they can't cook because they don't have a freaking stove. But we're just going to get some things cleaned up. How is he going to talk to him? You can't talk to him. Are they having a conversation? They're across the freaking house. What do you guys got? Cups with a string going on? Anyways, um, Delilah and Miami are here. Why don't we go ahead and start our gathering? Um, Miami actually has an idea, but she needs some research. We're going to stay here. So, um... Miami said that she looked online and she found ways for people to like to be in, like infatuated with them to like want to be in their club to show that they're mesmerizing and beautiful and they, like just make people fall in love with the Slayettes and want to join in such a short time and all this stuff and she looked it up and the best way to do that is to actually throw a lavish like extravaganza um and miami found the perfect place it's called the tea light nightclub pause okay so the tea light the tea light nightclub is a build that i just put up um it is actually posted before this video um so you can you guys can go ahead and check out the speed build and i'll make sure i'll link that in the description below so i'll link that in there all right we're back i had a little hiccup there um but the girls have decided to throw this lavish extravaganza to get um some lucky member to fall in love with them and just become infatuated with the slayettes mm -hmm. and want to join and things like that so um after the girls finish eating everyone is here so we're gonna one of the things that they like to do is get in a hot tub together 
Um, and let's set this color to pink because that's their color. That's kind of pinkish. And I can't tell. Oh my gosh. It says Orlando Greenwood has been fired from his job at the police station. So, um, that sucks. But technically. Orlando Greenwood moved away for another job. So actually, it's kind of fine. Um, yeah, he moved away. That's the story, and we're sticking to it. Um, but definitely going to have the girls come in here and just chit-chat a little bit. Um, Miami's going to explain the game plan to everyone. Um, we're going to get off of him because we really don't care. Um, these girls are so... Why? I was about to say, why is she getting in? The tub with heels. And of course Delilah is wearing like a full on thong bikini. Into ways. Um, so Miami is just going to explain to the girls um, what the deal is and what's going to happen. And she's like, so we are going to throw a lavish extravaganza. Everyone needs to look their best. Everyone needs to um, just be perfect. Um, we really have to get this, these girls to like us, and the girls are kind of, they're kind of surprised, because first, they don't know any people who are worthy enough to be in the Slayettes, like, they don't know anyone yet, and, um, Miami is saying that she, she knows a couple of people, she's gonna pull some strings, and make sure that they're at the party, um, and to make it a little safer, we'll go ahead and introduce these girls to the Slayette. So the, we make sure that they're at the party. But um, Miami's just saying, so the party's going to be tomorrow night. It's at this beautiful nightclub. Um, she pulled some strings with her mother. Because if you did not know, um, Miami's and, excuse me, Miami and um, Olive's mother is a bartender. And their other mom, I believe, is a scientist, if I'm not mistaken. But, um... I can't even remember Miami's mother's name, but her mother, well, the one she lives with, um, she's a bartender, and she pulled some strings to get Miami this nightclub booked, so the nightclub is all booked for tomorrow night, which is perfect, but we're going to have, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to stay here for a little while, just because I feel like Harley is going to have this baby, um, and I want to be here for it, so. We're gonna stick around. Um, why can't they just give us a time? Um, what are you drowning yourselves? You creeps! What are you doing? You're just going underwater. You are having a conversation? And this was thinking about girl Jeannie. She's a little weirdo, but I love Jeannie. She's like the real MVP. Why are they like slouching down in this water? I don't understand. Um, she's getting a little tired. But tonight, we definitely just want to hang out. They need to come up with a game plan. Every time they do one of their schemes, they need to have a day of planning. If they don't, I just think people are going to be... It's just not going to go right. So, they always plan and things like that. Um, gossip of our neighbors. What else do they do? They flirt. Um, why don't we get... You know, why don't we just turn this into a little shinding here? And invite AJ and his boys over. Of course, Harley's pissed because we're inviting all these people over and, you know, didn't ask. But who cares? Like, I don't think Delilah and Harley are just not, they don't care anymore. Like, they're, they're done with each other. Delilah does her own thing and my uh, Harley does hers. Like, no one cares anymore. They don't care about each other's feelings. I think they're dead to each other. And that sucks. Because they're sisters. And they're such good friends. And blah, blah, blah. But did she invite them? Did you invite them all? Can you do what I say, Delilah? Can you do it, please? They're just stretching in the tub. I don't understand. They're, they're like they're just sacrificing everything. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, great. Okay. Can we add... Pick us off to work. That's great. Can we? Wait. Isn't my. No. Isn't Jeannie dating some girl? I can't remember. Um, can we add to the group? You can't. 
Modify groups during a group gathering. Ugh! I can't sim today. But, um... I, I'm happy that they're here, though. These boys should not be able to go in the house. The door should be locked for everyone. No one, basically no one can go in there. I think Delilah is almost to the point where she's about to lose her privileges. Which is not good at all, but she's definitely... Mm, lucky door for everyone but Delilah. Then we want access for Harley. And then we want access um, for... Oh, gosh, this house is... Let's just fix it that way. Um, I need to remove this trait. He's feeling trapped. I feel like that's the old pick. pick this pick would definitely not feel trapped. He would definitely feel um, a, a lot more at ease. But I want to invite them into the freaking hot tub. But it's hard. So we're going to get out. Um, hold on. Hopefully this is AJ. Because if you did not know, Delilah has a thing for AJ. But not really. He's just a... Oh, wait. Is that him? He's just a boy that we talk to. He's not really, like... He's not the one, basically. Wow. Delilah's just talking to him because she's bored. Um, honestly, I don't think Delilah's the person who would ever be, like, locked down at all. I never see that happening. Um, are you going to get out the tub? Can you get out the tub, Delilah? And I'm so sorry, but my game is lagging, like, a lot right now. I have no idea why. I'm not doing this earlier. Is my computer hot? Oh, yes. It's burning. Beautimas, beautimas. But, um, today is, like I said, is, okay, you gonna come to my house and start stretching? You just gonna stretch with, like, your 12,000 pack? I mean, okay, I mean, that's what you do. If I went to someone's house and started stretching, they, they would think something was a little wrong. Um, but Miami's in the house, so I don't know how this is happening. I don't care. Like I said, oops, something's happening. No, what are you doing? Get it together. Hold on, guy. I think this should be a little better. I just kind of let it sit for a little bit. But um, we're definitely going to get a little freaky. Well, not freaky. Well, no, you know what? Probably get freaky because Delilah is uh, being a rebel. She doesn't care. Um. Oh yeah, they're a thing. That's right. I forgot all about that. I knew somebody was a thing. What am I doing, camera? Can you? Oh, there's they're a thing. They're a thing. All right, I had to get a picture. Sorry. Ah, I love that everyone's being flirty. That's what I want because. That's what I think they would do. But they're, they're a little adorable. <gasps> no. I wasn't ready. We're not ready. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. She's freaking humongous. Okay. Okay, Harley. Okay. Okay. No, don't, 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 don't rest. I don't, I don't think, but you're so tired. Okay, go to the bathroom. She's like, is this my water breaking? Oh my gosh. I, I have a story, but I can't even tell it on YouTube. So if you want to hear the story, just remember to tweet me and I will tell you. But it's about somebody's water breaking. That's all I'm going to say. Um, okay. Leave, um, leave work early. Yes, you have to. You've been leaving work early a lot lately. Okay. Um, uh, why is my game lagging so hard? It cannot lag during this birth. No lagging. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're in the bathroom with Sinklin, with Sinklin. Okay. Can you wash your hands after you tinkle? Okay. Um, Pick was fired from his job. Why were you fired? 
Everybody's just losing jobs today? Okay, well, you know, it's all right. We'll find something else. Maybe we shouldn't have been criminals with the baby on the way anyway, but it's okay. It's all right. Um, what are we going to do? Okay, you need to take her to the hospital. Okay, come here and be a douche and ask her when, when's her due date. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Um, I don't understand how these small head boys are in my house. Aren't their heads extremely small? They're like, ext okay, sorry. Okay, I have the attention span of a squirrel. Okay, here we go. She's having the baby. Can you freak out real quick? Okay, freak out. Can you freak out? Is my game lagging too much for you to freak out? Okay, guys, we're going to the hospital. Bear with me. Okay, okay. We're at the hospital. And Pick is freaking out. Okay, and he lost his job. This looks horrible. Okay, um, why don't you check in at the front desk? No, we're not gonna sit together. Um, what's your name? Mary Orr. Okay, Mary Orr had a little lamb. Here, I need you to check me in and pick. I, I know you're sad. I know. Um, no, you can't use the bathroom. You just need to go there. And you need to stand there until it's time. And then you, ma'am, Mary. Thank you. Mary had a little lamb. Come on. She needs to be checked in. She's pregnant. Can you not see the bump? It's big as day. Okay. And she's tired. Mary. Yes, call. Yes, we need doctor whoever to come deliver a baby. Yes. The Emerson's kid. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, Mary, you don't look like you're doing much. Let's do this again. Okay. Where, she's, where are you going? Where are you going? You just, you're walking? Okay, where where's he? No, stop peeing. You need to run here frantically. Like a scared dad. Okay, wait, which one? Okay, we're going here. Okay, we're following her. Pick, where are you? Pick, you're here. Pick, okay. Ooh, wait, hold up. <laughs> Doctor, I'm sick. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, we're back. We're coming. Okay, we don't need to talk to Mary anymore. Where's Pick? Where does Pick? Where does Pick? Okay. Come on, Pick. You gotta freak out with us. Guys, if it's more than one kid, I'm falling to the floor and the pot is over. Whew. Okay. 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 Yes, David is a doctor at Doctor at I Fell Down a Wellness Center. Okay. 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 Move, Maria. Is she stinking? Can you not stink in here? Okay. Yes, get the Elmer's glue and, um, uh, okay. Guys, my heart is beating. I can't take this fast forward. I can't take this. Put your put her heart back. <gasps> it's a girl. Oh my gosh, it's a girl. Okay. Well, I forgot to ask for baby names. <laughs> I forgot to ask for baby names, but I think I like the name Tegan. So if you think about it, Pick and Harley had Tegan. Right? Yeah? No? Okay, Tegan. I like Tegan. Tegan Emerson. Okay. Who, oh, please, please, please be one. Okay. Who, oh, yes. Who, because you know it would have been immediate. Yes! Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys. Okay, game's doing something weird. Okay. Let's pop up. What? We didn't even get to see the baby. Oh, gosh. Let me tell you the amount of disgust I am in that this small-headed little man thought it was okay to touch my baby. He is now going to die. Just kidding, he's not. But he needs to get the heck off my kid. And Harley's angry. Heck yeah, I'll be angry. Get the heck off my kid. You need to leave. You need to leave. I think De Delilah needs to get it together. We're just going to end everything. Everyone needs to go. So just tell everyone to go. Not him. He can stay. Actually, no. We're not being nice to Harley anymore. I remembered. Okay. So where's Harley?
Okay, we're gonna have to comfort you later, but for right now, we're about to go cuddle our little Tegan. Oh my gosh, he's so freaking cute. Look at him. My game is lagging so hard and it's making me so upset. <gasps> No, please. Okay, let's see if we can get a picture of her. Oh my gosh, she looks so, she looks so cute. She looks just like any other Sim baby. Oh, she's so special. <laughs> okay. Yes, tell that little boy to leave. Then we're going to come here and, and, and. Oh my gosh, get off my baby. <laughs> I'm about to freak out. Okay, you need to tell your man. To, he, you need to tell your man. He, he needs to go. You just need to. Oh, he needs to leave. Girl, if you don't leave, Pink gonna kill him. Pink, you need to get up. You need to get up. People touching your baby. Oh God. Everybody get out. Harley. Oh my gosh. Harley, that's your baby. This is so not freaking special. Get out. Delilah's like, can you please leave because my sister's being a nag and I don't want to hear her mouth later. So could you please get out, everyone, and that butt though. Okay. Um, this is not going as planned. Everybody needs to get out the house. This is what happens when Delilah tries to throw a little party. Oh my God, Harley. Look at your baby. Why is her neck like that? Harley, what are you doing to her? Oh my god. No, she's really pretty, guys. She's really pretty. Look at her little eyebrows. <gasps> Is she going to have brown hair? Is that what she needs? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freaking. Look how cute this baby is. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I do want her to get out of her clothes, though. Can you get out of your hospital gown? So we can take proper pictures. I really, really wish we could take like, like pictures with babies. Oh my gosh, guys. All of these people are here and I don't know how to get rid of them fast. Um, look at, look at Harley's face. Like if y'all don't get the, out my house, she is not having it today. She's so mama bearish. Wow, okay. That's something you want to wear. Okay. Oh my gosh, rock her and then breastfeed her because that's what we do. And then, like, cuddle at her. And I think G uh, Olive is like, oh my gosh, congratulations on your baby. I'm so happy for you. And, and Harley's kind of like, aren't you like, excuse my French, a bitch? Like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> Harley's so rude. She's like, yeah, you need to get out. Like, we don't like you. And this one comes up here with boat underwear on. Can you move and be proper? Come meet your niece and then get out the house. I think Deli I think Harley has drawn the last straw and Delilah is no longer allowed in the house. And I'm with her because this was a complete disaster. How could you have all of your friends there knowing, knowing how the baby was coming today yeah. and consider it so um after this little whole fiasco delilah is definitely not allowed back in the house so we're gonna have to invest in a little kitchenette for her um and that's just gonna have to do oh my gosh guys i can't get over this i cannot get over this i cannot <laughs> I feel like this part is going to be, like, broken into two parts because we have to spend time with this baby. Yes, we do. Oh, my gosh. We so do. This part, the rest of this part has to be about the baby and getting their lives together. And then we'll we'll go back to Delilah because everybody knows Delilah's plan. They got until Sunday. So. The party is not until tonight anyway. But um, I need to get all these people out. We're going to clear out the house, clean up. And then we're going to come back and we're just going to spend time with the baby. Oh my gosh. Ah! All right, guys, we're back. Everyone is gone. It took, it took a while, but um, we are back. 
And Delilah is finally meeting her niece, Tegan. And I think Delilah is kind of saying, Hello, little one. Welcome to the world. I am your auntie. And though your mom might tell you bad things, I have done everything I can to feel accepted in my life. And I want you to know that I will always love you and I will always care about you. And if you ever need anything, I will do everything I can to provide for you. Even when your mom hates me, even when your dad hates me, I'm always going to be there for you because you are what matters. And I think this is really cute and sweet of Delilah. I still think she's a good person. She just makes really, 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 really bad decisions. Um, but I think the next time we'll see each other, guys, is at the party. Guys, I was gonna, I was gonna come back at the party, but I think this is this just melted my heart. Renee, the girl's mother, just text, just text Harley and said, "Congratulations on the new addition to the family, guys, guys." My heart, oh, my heart is breaking. This is horrible. Don't they look identical? They literally look identical. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I'm I'm together. I'm together. Hey guys, welcome back. And we are finally at the dance party. Um, and it looks like I have Delilah over here getting something to eat. And let me show you who our three candidates are. Um so we have Mary Soul, right? Mary Soul, yes. Mary Soul Miller. This is she. She is very, very pretty. Um, I, I really, I really like her look. And then we have blue. Remember, blue hair girl. We do not like. Screw blue hair girl. Um, and then there's um cage dancer naked girl. And that's small head boy. And there's Olive. And where the heck am I going? Okay. Um. Oh. Where's the other girl? Where's the other girl? Where are you? Where are you? She could have left. Which would really suck. But maybe this girl looked familiar to some of you. This is Brianna Saglo. And she was my pastel golf. Uh, 30 day swim making challenge and she is also a candidate and our last candidate is Cindy and I don't know where she is um looks like she left so we're going to invite her back if she answered if she does not it's okay um this party is late but hopefully she answers us please answer and then we're gonna go grab some more food oh Cindy's already here where is she? Where's Cindy? Cindy Lou! Oh, there she is. Okay, Cindy. And Cindy, she's our third girl. And this was actually my 1980s chick. Um, and this is Cindy Wheeler. So those are our three contestants. And these girls are dying to be in the Slayettes. This party is to kind of show them who we are, what we do, what we're about, and, you know, it's kind of like their initiation. Mm -hmm. So what's yeah. going to happen is whoever we decide with tonight are going to be in the Slayettes, but they're going to be on a pro... Prohibition? Probation. Why did I say prohibition? Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to edit that out either. <laughs> I'm going to be on probation, so... In order to fully be in the club and enjoy all of our, the perks of the club, they have to first kill Detective Greenwood by Sunday. Um, and these girls do not know that task, but this party is to woo them, to try to persuade them that this is the club you need to be in and nowhere else. So, let's have the party. So... I know Delilah is super hungry, so as soon as she eats, then we'll be good. 
and we can dance and stuff like that. My game is super laggy. Let me pause for a second. But is this? Oh my gosh, Cindy's so cute. And freaking Brianna's gorgeous. She's like beyond. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, but let's go ahead and dance together. And I'm also going to start a club gathering. We're going to stay here. Um, just so we can get some points and stuff like that. You know, who doesn't like free points? So, as soon as she's, you know what, that's enough, Delilah. We'll, we'll get the rest at home. But it's Friday night. It is kind of, sort of packed in this club. And this club is so pretty. It's all outside. It makes me happy. But these people just sleep here. I, I literally think that that's, we're going to fight that girl. Do not like her. She made me angry. But the girls are dancing. And I think they should all dance together. Um, because I think that interaction is so freaking cute, and we're definitely trying to impress the girls. So let's see. We have two of the girls on the dance floor, Brianna and Cindy on the dance floor. Where is Mary Soul? Oh, Mary. Okay, she's up there. I don't know why she's on the step dancing near a bush, you know, but you know, there, that's where she is. Um, the girls are all here. It makes me so excited. Um, and we'll get some time to actually talk to the girls. But first, I want to do this group dance. Can we do the group dance? <gasps> it's almost Tegan's birthday. What? What just happened? Hey. Oh my gosh. They grow up so fast. Okay, well, we're going to be home for Tegan's birthday. Just not right now. Um, okay, girls. Are we going to dance? No? We're just going to start lollygagging. Okay. Not, not really doing much, you ladies. You know, you're just kind of bopping there. Alright. Okay. That's not really happening. So, remember, in order for all of this to work, Miami actually has to be the person to invite the person to the club. But we don't know who we're going to choose yet. So, that's what this is for. I would love your guys' input, but we have to pick someone tonight. <laughs> We have to pick someone tonight. Okay, let's let's start talking to these ladies before time. Dance parties go quick. They're like two hours. Okay. Um, we're gonna gossip with her. Brianna's so cute. Um Yeah, let's just get to talking to everyone, honestly. Show off her outfit, even though you guys barely have stuff on. Um, but yes. Everyone looks really cute. Where is Mary Soul needs to come over here? Come on! You're trying to be in the slayettes, not the doll birds. Okay, here we go. Here she is. You wanna go? Can we go just regular speed? Okay. No, do not go look at TV. We're trying to get to know everyone. Well, you know what? I don't think Mary Soul is, in is as interested as we think she should be. So we're not going to waste our time. You know? We don't have that much time. We're in a short time frame. And we want someone who's going to be loyal and dedicated. We do not need another olive on our hands because she's no fun. But, um, ooh, look at these two. High-fiving. Um, yes, beautiful, 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 okay. Um, we're just trying to include everyone in the conversation. These boys don't have on shirts. Compliment our outfit. And the Slayettes are just dancing and grooving. Glad we got a chance to catch up. See you next time. Okay, people are starting to leave. That's cool. We're not really here for them. We just really wanted to throw this party and talk to these people. It looks like the only person interested is Brianna. And you know what? I'm not mad at her because if she really wants to be in this club, you got to do what it takes to be in this club. You have to prove to us that you are loyal because if you can't participate at a freaking club gathering at a nice, beautiful lot, then how are you going to prove to me that you can kill someone to get in the club? I mean, even though they don't know that yet, but still. Like, still. 
She's like, oh yes. And then this pinata came out of nowhere. And Delilah's like, pinata. Uh -huh. Um, yes, but these girls are look at this. They're like talking and complaining about classes, yes, because if you guys did not know, Delilah is officially an F student. Now I don't know what that means when she gets all the way down to red, but we might have to start going to school just so. <laughs> Just so we don't get kicked off the boarding school. Does that work still? Like, do they go to boarding school? Or, like, come back when they become a young adult? I don't know. Freaking Harley would love that. But we're just going to keep talking to um, Brianna here. Because Mary Soul's up there dancing and watching TV. And I think Cindy's more... She's just ready to talk to boys. And look at her little outfit. She's so cute with her rip stockings. And Jeannie's like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Because, you know, Delilah's totally in charge of this. She has to pick someone she trusts. So, get it, Delilah. But this is this is so much fun. Okay, can we get drinks? Would they serve us even though we're teenagers? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, can we fight her? I just do not like her. Let's uh, wait, guys. We we have to put this on hold because we, I just do not like this girl. She messed up stuff with me and AJ um, at our house party that we threw, and she's just horrible. So we're going to jeer and insult her, and I'm just done with her. She needs to get out of. She needs to just stop coming where we are. I don't even think we invited her. She just showed up. Yeah, your mom's a llama. Hold on, Brianna. Just press pause for a second. Because this girl here, she needs to get it. She thinks the Slayettes are game. Yes, that's right. You come to me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where's Holly? Holly just needs to fight. I mean, uh, Delilah just needs to fight her. Like, who cares? Just mock her outfit. Why do you have blue hair and red shorts? <laughs> kidding me? Are you kidding me? You look like a Twizzler. A bag of Skittles. The rainbow. A bad tie-dye job. The list goes on and on. Delilah, just fight her. Don't be... This is the place. We need to show these girls how tough we are. We don't take no for an answer. We're going to fight her. Can we just fight already? Throw a drink. Stop sitting. Get up. Show her who's boss. Let's go, Delilah. No, get out the group conversation. No, don't run now. Don't run now. And you're lucky our little group thing's about to end because every time, oh no, every time we're about to fight, it's always about to be over. No, we're fighting this time. We're fighting, blue hair girl. That's right. That's right. All right, Delilah. Don't let the... Oh, did you lose? You lost? Oh, no. Oh, no. We, no. Beg for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fight again. No, we're not napping. We don't need to nap. We don't need to chat. We need to fight again. Because we don't lose. The Lala, could you lose? This is not the place where you need to lose this fight. Is Brianna even paying attention? She's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Are we rumbling? Hey, bro. Yeah, everyone's cheering for me! Woo! That's right. Even if I even if I did lose, they're still cheering for me. Cause they know. Alright, we're fighting again. We're fighting again. Yeah, Cindy's like, yeah, I'm not doing this. So we definitely though, I think we're definitely gonna go with Brianna, but we're just gonna go ahead and finish out our look. Brianna, she's on Snapchat. Yes. Oh, my God. Is Jeannie not wanting us to win? We lost twice. Screw this blue hair girl. We really don't like her. But anyway, guys, I'm definitely going to end our part here. We officially know who we're going to go with, and that is Miss Brianna. So, Brianna is going to be our newest member of the Slayettes, and once she is giving her task to, to uh, be initiated, we have to see if she is accepted or decline so tune in with me next time to see what happens so booyah shaka
All right. Uh, remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.